coming at you from Stretcher Wolf Studio. It's Rage Across the Internet presents Wherever Gaia Takes Us, a werewolf the apocalypse let's play. Starring M as Carly Emberstring. And I'm your storyteller porter. Interlude. Carly Emberstring. Your eyes slowly flutter open. The bright sky and faces of onlookers greet you. An old man, a, a priest? Hair slicked back, wrinkled skin tightly draped over his skull. A woman, young and pretty, sparkling eyes, beautiful blonde hair and black roots. A slightly chubby, red-headed woman with glasses. It's the girl, Rico's girlfriend. As your senses come back to you, you realize that you're lying across the front seat of a red convertible. Your knee leaning on the horn. You shift, making the noise stop. <laughs> As you sit up, you can see smoke pouring from the hood. The front end severely smashed, but there's no sign of actually hitting anything. What? Mom? The old man speaks. Don't try to move. You've had quite the ordeal. Now the girl, KT. It was careless, really. People with important jobs should be more responsible. Your eyes soften. As the three before seem to go out of focus, you can see it is raining behind them. You see Rico and Nightfang play fighting in the grass. Several children running past them, while a little girl with a large red and white mushroom umbrella stands nearby watching. Your focus comes back to the blonde woman as she speaks. Anyway, you're leaking. Your eyes shift down to the floor of the car. It's rapidly filling with water the level meeting and rising past the seats. Your eyes shoot open again. You fell asleep by a brook not far from the campsite, your hand having slipped into the water. Uh, I'm going to get my hand out of the water and put the wet hand on my forehead and Gonna look around to make sure it was just a dream. You see no sign of convertibles, children, or uh, rain, for that matter. Brilliant. Ugh. Am I just alone by the stream? You are. It uh, seems to be a fairly quiet uh, day, uh, maybe late afternoon. You don't, you're not entirely sure how long you've been here, obviously. Um, you sit up, taking in your surroundings, um, your bags with you, journal slightly, slightly fallen out, but it, it's in no danger. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go for a swim. It's going to zip up the bag and you said there was a stream. Yeah. Um, it is not enough to swim in. Oh, that's too bad. But there is, you know, the lake behind the cabin. Okay. I'll grab my things and I'll slowly head off and back to the cabin, kind of taking a nice walk. What? So you roll your eyes there. Did I? Yeah. A nice walk. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm sorry. Didn't even notice. Like you, you decided it. Damn. Um, yeah. All right. I did. Yeah, I'm going to take a nice, nice slow walk. Turn to wake back up from that nap. Feeling a little groggy. As you do after naps. Especially ones that were impromptu in the woods. Yeah. Uh, you start to make your way through the woods, uh, back to the cabin. The the fog of sleep slowly 
uh, dissipating. You, you feel a little bit of an itch reaching over to find a bug bite of some sort over on your right arm. As you go to scratch it, you, yeah, you, you look over and notice the burn mark on your forearm from uh, recent events. wonder how, that, how long that's going to take to heal. It's not a long walk. Um, at your pace, maybe a good 20 minutes before the campsite is, or the, the cabin is once again in sight. You can see some activity in some of the neighboring ones. Again, the cabin's going around the circular lake. A happy little fun summer retreat for so many families. As you approach, you see a figure swinging on the, the porch swing uh, like, uh, at, at your cabin. A uh, man, seemingly in his mid-twenties, short, sandy blonde hair, a few days stubble coating a jawline that may have been chiseled by Gaia herself. He's shirtless, save for a puka shell necklace. You can see the strider glyph with a half moon above it, tattooed on his right shoulder. There was what looks to be a couple bullet scars in his abdomen, some nasty claw marks just under his rib cage on the left, and an eye with a teardrop holding the name Jill tattooed over his heart. He's cutting into an apple with a pocket knife, slipping a slice of it in his mouth as you approach. Hey, you're the new girl, uh, Casey, right? Um, C Carly. He t shrugs a little and gives a nod. Sorry. Path runner. It's, you can call me Bodhi. It's, it, it, it's fine. Uh, good to meet you, Bodhi. You said path runner? Yeah. Philodox okay. Strider. Just gonna nod. Oh, um, the urge, Uptina. You look a little out of it. You hungry? He reaches down uh, to the bag at his feet, tossing an apple in your direction. Oh, I'm going to try to catch it quickly. Yeah, thanks. I just woke up from a nap by the, the stream. Is that like a normal thing? or I mean, we have land here. There's like even beds and couches and shit. Have you been in there yet? I, I have I have been in there, yes. I uh, just, you know, was out writing in my, uh, writing a little bit, so I guess I fell asleep. Happens, you know? You feel tired? <laughs> I, I suppose I know a little bit something about uh, <laughs> sleeping in the rough. He turns his head over to the door. It's pretty dead in there right now. Falling leaves resting. Carter and Ricochet are out uh, watching the construction crews. Dave's in a date. Dodger took Nightfang out to play Ninja in the woods. And Far Four's out. I'm going to take a bite out of the apple. Playing Ninja? The apple is both golden and delicious. <laughs> Yeah, they're training. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just thinking about maybe taking a swim. It's a nice day. I thought the water would bake me up. Yeah, enjoy. Me is out back. I don't think I've met Mia. Have I met Mia? No. No, I don't think I have. No, her and Bodhi were out when you came around. Mm. Should I go say hello? Yeah, it'd probably be pretty rude not to. Uh, I just walk by her. It, you're, you're right. Yeah, that would be rude. <laughs> Thanks. It was uh, good to meet you. <laughs> yeah. You too, uh, Carly. Cody. So, hey. He stops you mm -hmm. just as you get your hand on the doorknob. 
Yeah. You put another slice of apple in his mouth. So you sticking around? Um, I, I, I don't know. The the guys asked me to. Maybe they seem they seem okay. Yeah, they're all right. You should they consider. Seem, uh, yeah, they might be a little lonely, just the two of them. Yeah, with Dante gone. Strange. Yeah, poor bastard. Very. Yeah. Poor? Yeah, you know, um, Owl called him away. Oh. Sad. Got it. Yeah. He, uh. I know he thinks it was about his mother, but, you know, family reunions aren't really Owl's thing, you know? If it wasn't an outright lie, then there's probably a pretty big catch. That's an acute observation. Yeah. Well, you know, I just call him like I see him, I guess. Hopefully it all works out in the end for him. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe he'll find his way back. In the meantime, they could use you, you know? Family's important. I'm going to nod and say, yeah, thanks. It's what I'm here for. Moral quandary, judgment, or actual ghosts. I'm your man. Otherwise, all I do is hand out apples. <laughs> uh, thanks. I'll let you know if I have any other moral quandaries. <laughs> he gives a passive uh, wave of his eye. Uh, and as you enter the cabin. Yeah, I'll uh, head out back. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll leave my bag inside. Don't really need it for swimming. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What if you want to take some notes about what's under the water? I don't want to ruin the paper, you know? Oh, well. It's not waterproof paper. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I know I should really think more, like think a little bit through my paper purchasing next time it really was careless of you honestly I know the waterproof paper waterproof pens next time all the way could she use watercolors I'll get, some, I'll get some goggles to go with it as well <laughs> you, you let your bag rest next to the sofa as you slink your way through the quiet house you can hear the faint snoring of a particular stargazer in the distance. Careful not to wake him. You make your way through the back door to the back deck where you see a young woman sunbathing in a lawn chair. She's wearing a bikini top and uh, cut-off jeans, or cut-off shorts, excuse me. A fairly tan skin and blonde hair pulled back into high pigtails. Uh, large round sunglasses adorn her, rest on her nose. She raises a knee slightly and looks over her freshly painted toenails. She reaches down low in the glasses just a little bit, giving you some side eye. Hello. Uh, Hey. Oh, you're Catherine, the new girl. That Carly. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're um what was your name again? Mia. Mia Jawbreaker. Oh. Hello, Mia. Like I Oh, Bodie just told me you were out here and I was saying hello. Yeah, like, nice to meet you, Junk. Yeah, good to meet you, too. I, yeah, good to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, all right. 
Yeah, um, I just, I'm a little bit surprised. There was only a lot of guys. It's nice to see another gal. No, there's like a whole bunch of us. In the cabin. It's like half of everyone, I think. (laughs) Women, I mean. Yeah, as like the world population, yeah. (laughs) The population of the cabin, though, is uh, heavily skewed to the other direction. Yeah, it's like a total sausage fest. (laughs) Yes. She leans over, grabbing a beer from the cooler at her side. She holds it up to you, offering. Oh, no thanks. I have some water. Yeah, that's the same thing. (laughs) (laughs) She pops the top and takes a long swig. Sorry, I was going to go for a swim. (laughs) I'm just embarrassing myself now. Um, I was going to go for a swim. (laughs) If you want to join me. Harley looks thoroughly embarrassed. (laughs) Like, maybe when I... Maybe, like... It's like maybe in a bit. I just did the nails. Okay. She angles her foot more in your direction. They're uh, a bright pink. Very nice. (laughs) She doesn't bother lifting her arm, but swings her wrist pointing down to the dock. Enjoy the water and stuff. Good to meet you, Mia. <clears throat> like, you too, Carly. I'm going to head on down to the deck and take my shoes off and just just jump in and stay under the water for a hot minute. <laughs> just closing all your... <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> all right, you... you slip into the water. It is uh, cold, but nice contrast to the day. It's, it's very wet, waterish. Yep. Once all the clothes are thoroughly wet, I will put them on the dock to dry and just kind of lounge on my back in the water. All right. It's relatively peaceful. Um, the lake's a decent size, uh, but being clearly man-made with the ring of cabins around, um, you're you're fortunate enough to not have to deal with assholes on speedboats. But there are a few canoes in the distance. Uh, some kids outside, you know, uh, playing a little bit, you know, splashing around uh, near the various other cabins. You you've got a decently wide berth. Wait, there was kids in my dream. That's weird. Probably why there was kids in my dream. Anyways. Why'd you spring a leak? What? I said, why did you spring a leak? Good question. So you know, there's water on the hand. I was just part of, <laughs> I was just part of the dream as well. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was interesting. Anyway, I was a little confused. Anyway, you're leaking. <laughs> what? That is a very dream thing to happen. You're not entirely sure how long uh, you were floating there, but you, you do hear a nearby disturbance. Uh, a light splashing, something hitting the, the surface. Um, you look over to see an inflatable chair hit the water. Mia's slipping onto it. Uh, fresh beer in the cup holder. Polish dry? I'm sorry? You're Polish dry? Oh, I thought you said Polish guy. Which yeah, you have a Polish guy? Makes way less sense than the other thing. So. <laughs> it would, yes. Punch key? You know, mm-hmm. I kind of. <laughs> Dry enough, I think. 
It's kind of a nice place, you know, aside from all the crazy shit going down. Y'all been on the island? Oh, I don't know, a couple weeks. So did you and the boys come at the same time? Um, Or did you guys, like, arrive together? Uh, More or less at the same time, I think. We had, um, like, everyone was brought here by dreams. Oh. Like, the same dream or different dreams? Do you know? No, like, we all had different visions. They saw a girl in a fire, in in the fire, and, like, we saw a different girl entirely. (laughs) And then I guess Falling Leaf, um... He thinks he's here to protect uh, the the kids. Okay. So you all kind of arrived around the same time because of dreams. Interesting. Yeah, it was kind of ugly at first. The dream? (laughs) Like the meeting. Oh, did it not go well? Well, like, Falling Leaf brought the kids here. Yeah. And we wandered down to their camp when it was just him as we were scouting out the area. I wasn't with that party, but we, we kind of we split up sometimes in junk. And um, he did some damage. Really fucked up Carter and Dodger. Got the drop on Far 4, too, and that shit ain't easy. Yeah? Kicked their asses? A little bit, and then Far 4 shot him in the head. Oh. Oh, my. Okay. I guess uh, they... Everybody assumed the other person was bad news. Well, you know how it is. Or maybe you don't. You're kind of young, too, aren't you? Yeah, I I don't. (laughs) You know, like, territory's a bitch sometimes. And our kind aren't always known for talking things out and shut. And our kind aren't always known for, like, talking things out and drunk. Say it with the fist instead. She smiles, cracks her knuckles. Hmm. Like, it's kind of what I do. A little pride in her smile with that. Full moon, I presume, then? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just kind of waiting in the water near her. So do you think it's going to quiet down here on the island, or...? Oh, fuck Are no. the dream still unfulfilled? <laughs> you know, like, I haven't had him for a while, but whatever's up here ain't done yet. We still haven't figured out what the hell that girl's for. Have you met KT? Yeah, I, I'm, I've met KT. Is she the girl you dreamed about yeah like she was the one we saw but they saw another one and we just kind of switched do you mean well the other one it uh she's a waitress at the diner but like dave's sort of dating her now oh so that's who he's on a date with Probably. Maybe. Okay. He's been spending a lot of time with her. So are these girls, like, in danger? Or? Well, the way Lucinda, the the waitress, was. Gorehound took a good chunk out of her. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she just got to the hospital a little bit ago. She seems pretty unremarkable, so, like, I don't get it. 
but maybe it was just to bring us together in the first place. I don't fucking, I don't know. It's all too existential for me. KT, though, she's trouble. Yeah, the guys talk about her like she's <sighs> some great thing. Um, but she kind of smelled of nothing to me, so. Oh, I don't know what she is, but like, me and Bodhi watched her turn a couple Gorgons into a group of butter group of butterflies? Swarm? Pack? Go? I don't know. The fluttering? Like kaleidoscope, maybe. Sounds right. I don't know. Just like a shit ton of butterflies and junk. That's interesting. Yeah, that shit doesn't happen. No, I've not seen that happen before. Maybe she... Yeah. Maybe there is something weird up with her. I think that rings better than a maybe. Fair. I wonder what Bodhi's doing. He was eating an apple on the porch. <laughs> a while ago. All right. But. It just kind of shakes her head. Spend his day on the front porch sulking eating apples. And what else is there to do with your day around here? Well, he could be getting me another beer. I'm just going to nod. <laughs> yeah. That is a task. <laughs> no, I don't mind the quiet too bad. Moments like these, you take advantage of them, you know? Peaceful moments are nice. You're not going to get a lot of them. So I can tell. Especially not on this island. It's only been a couple of days and it's already been several big things happening. Yeah, like what brought you here anyway? You a native? Uh, no. I was kidnapped. I think you could qualify it as kidnapped. I am a kid. So like one of guys elite, I see, huh? <laughs> yes. Uh, there was a... So I was at a Denny's. Uh, having some breakfast, I was on my way to New York, and I heard some commotion behind the Denny's, like big, loud commotion. So I went to go investigate, and there was this gross-looking, bane-possessed thing. Anyways, I killed it, and then they shot me with something, and then next thing I knew, I woke up in a glass cell underneath this town. See? Never a dull moment. Yeah. You guys were brought by dreams. I was brought by, uh, you know, vehicle. <laughs> I was going to say by the moon over my hammy. <laughs> It's a sandwich at Denny's. Oh, okay. I get the pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the syrup. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you found yourself a pack, at least. That is what it looks like. It's what I was heading to New York for, but I guess, you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, I guess. Like, sounds like Guy kind of put a bow on it for you, didn't she? A little bit. A little bit of a bow on top of the box. I don't know, like, they're all right. I've gone through some shit already for being so young. 
So I've heard. Yeah, like, they lost a member in combat, and then uh, the Strider kid leaving. Even before that, it seems that uh, Rico had lost his pack beforehand. Hmm, didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of challenges in a short amount of time. Yeah. She lights a cigarette, taking a long, slow drag. <sighs> Welcome to the nation, right? Thanks. <laughs> Did I bum one of those? Uh, sure, but, uh, you plan on smoking in the water? I'll swim over to the dock. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit on the dock. <laughs> All right. Impossible. Not easy. <laughs> well, once you uh, reposition yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> she uh, reaches over, lighting another cigarette herself and handing it over to you. Thanks. No problem. But no, pack's important, you know? Family. This life's hard enough without it. You ain't gonna last long without a pack. Yeah, that's what the last set said, and that's why they sent me to go find somebody my age. Seems that I have. Like you said, looks like Gaia put a bow on it. It's a weird island. No, they all have underground facilities and shit. I really don't think they do. How did your guys's, um... Raid, go. It's like nothing we couldn't handle. You know, lots of bullets. Uh, they uh, they torch the place. Same with ours. But I'll show her the burn on my arm. She sits up a little and nods. It'll heal in time. Not that big of a deal. Nah. Just, just a nice burn. We, like, got some data out of it. But, looks like it was, uh, mostly into repairs from the last time the guys hit it. I think you guys got the bulk of the forces. Kind of a shame. I wanted some action. But they I guess weren't we all that competent. Oh, but I guess we'll get it now. What do you mean? Well, they know we're here. Yeah. Honey, this didn't just end because we blew up a building or two. <laughs> All we did is piss him off. And a Fallen Leaf, like, he fought spirals. That had to be a new there arrival. There must be some more spirals on the island, maybe. Or like on their way. And with all those Oof. construction crews showing up to fix the meat packing plant. Who knows who else has been smuggled in? Christ, I think the population of the island practically doubled. Yikes. Look at the bright side, though. We blend in easier. Even to the locals, we're old friends now. Compared to these newcomers. Exactly. Less of a threat. That's nice. And then there's the cabin, too. Yeah, if we're going to be here for a while, we're going to have to find a more permanent solution than this. We can't rent this place forever. I couldn't even rent it for a night. Well, like, it's not even about that even. Like, these cabins are supposed to be rented out for like a couple of weeks in the summer. We can't stay here all the whole time. Maybe there's long-term cabins somewhere up in these woods. 
or apartments or fucking something. I'm not going to go living in a cave like they did, like the kids did when they first got here. They lived in a cave? <laughs> and slept there the first night or two. Like, I'm not going to say I'm above it in junk, but I'm above it in junk. It's a good way not to say it. <laughs> it's also just nice to have a shower. You don't keep all this up, rolling around in the dirt all night. <laughs> Did you do your fingernails, too? Mm-hmm. She uh, holds out a hand, um, also pink, but but she's got little pictures drawn on them. Oh, fancy! It um, looks like the sun in different places, based on the finger. Hmm. She's very creative. I'll take another drag off the cigarette, but you know, hiding my fingernails. <laughs> Trying not to be obvious about them. Unpainted. <laughs> you need yours done? Uh, I don't need them done, no. Um, they're... I mean, they could use some paint. We can take care of that. <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of plain. Yeah, like, we can take care of that. Just because you're running with a bone nar doesn't mean you have to live like one. Yeah. I'd appreciate not living like one. <laughs> His bandana is a little dirty. <laughs> yeah, we've dealt with Carter for a while. I, I understand. Oh, yeah. He's the one that smelled of gas. He smelled worse. I only met him the once, so. No, he's a good kid. It's a fuck up, but he's a good kid. Okay. So all of you guys are a pack? La Magnifique. It's a, it's a lot of you guys. It's nice. Yeah. It used to just be far for Bodie and I, but we've picked up a few strays. I'm going to nod. Do you have colors other than pink? Like red. I like red. <laughs> <laughs> we can do red. Cool. <laughs> now, come on, little sister. Let's get you sorted out. <laughs> Part of your face is cracking me up. <laughs> Why? I gotta do the voice. I know, it's just so funny. Fuck. It's not a bad thing. It's like, it's important in junk. It is, like, important in junk. It's just I can see the important in junk on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Mia slides back uh, to the dock, grabbing her pool chair and beer. Come on. <laughs> And walks back toward the deck. She'll follow after. I'll follow after. Yeah, making uh, making your way to the back deck. Um, Mia pulls out her her kit, finding just the right shade of red to compliment Carly. Oh my. And she begins uh, doing your nails. I don't know that whole process, so just fucking, <laughs> we can just know that that's happening? Yeah. Okay. The nail process. Yeah. It's crazy. Insane. No, she, she brings up the whole kit. She's working on your cuticles, fucking. The whole nine yards. Yep. It, it's clear Everything that. Everything but acrylics. It, it, it is clear that um, she hasn't done this in a while. 
not by technique, but by enthusiasm. She's very into doing it. Oh, I've not been able to paint somebody's nails in a while. Let's get into it. Let's yep. do the... Yep. Not, I'm bad at it and I'm ruining your hands. <laughs> but... but the... Ooh, this red? No. This... Yeah, this one. This she, one. She seems to be a little excited to participate in girly activities. <laughs> Carly is also delighted to get her nails painted. It has also been a while since Carly has had her nails painted. All right. Uh, the, the two of you uh, proceed to make small talk, discussing a bit of where you've been. Mia shares a few anecdotes of a uh, fight she's been in. A couple of stories from the road. All the while, again, uh, doing your, your finger and toenails. Wow. You know, a few, uh, a few beers and a few more cigarettes pass. Carly, I'm not going to be drinking, but, but I will smoke another cigarette. Carly doesn't drink. Oh, all right. I mean, she's underage, so... She is underage. She also shouldn't be smoking, though, either, if that's the case. Well... Because <laughs> she's still underage. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, but yes. <clears throat> well, I mean, like, you're not supposed to kill people either, but... That is true. <laughs> and I, I do... I, I've done that recently. Several times. Body count comes with the job. Apparently does, yeah. Um, not how I expected to live my life, but here we are. No, it gets easier. It gets better. I mean, it doesn't, but you get used to it. Same thing to get used to. Well, like, and I mean, I'm sure you had plans of being like a veterinarian or like a fucking nurse or I don't know, whatever, but. Carly looks very embarrassed at the veterinarian. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're an easy mark. Don't worry. Oh, it'll get it. better. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> but like, here's the thing, right? Like, <laughs> like you could have gone that path. You know, and things been different. Had you actually been a human? Like, what, you would have finished school and gone to veterinarian school and, like, put your thumb up a cat's butt for a living? I don't think you put your thumb up there, but I, I'm seeing what you're meaning. I mean, I don't know how you get have your fun. <laughs> but <laughs> Definitely like, not that way. <laughs> you don't know. Maybe that's the best life could have got. Oh, God. <laughs> Put your thumb up a cat's butt and go home and eat a pint of ice cream. With the same thumb. Or wash it. I'm not... <laughs> like, I'm not the boss of fake human you. But here's the thing. Instead, you get to go to the Umbra and speak with spirits. You get to shift the lupus and run through the plains and the forests. To see and smell and experience shit that no one else, no stupid human ever could. I have also gotten to actually talk with the animals. See, like, there you go. To, to never think that was possible. And like, you're doing good. In a real way. Not in a stupid, your cat doesn't have worms anymore way. Like, congratulations, you've cleaned Spot's butthole. But, like... Yeah. But, like... You, you're taking things out that hurt people. You're saving lives. And we do our job right, we're saving the whole damn world. Again, in a real way. Not in a Spot's butthole sort of way. In a very real, tangible way. <laughs> 
Actually, let's get a ring to it. Do you have a deed name yet? Ember String. Carly Ember String. I guess that's better. Yeah, it is better. <laughs> Carly Spots Butthole. Oh, <laughs> <Thank> God, no. <laughs> yeah definitely not how i envisioned but definitely better than it was so not a bad trade-off it's all perspective like yeah life's not going to be easy but you take the bad with the good yeah, kind of one of the first lessons I learned a little bit. Less negativity, more positivity, or at the very least, neutrality. All right. All right. What do you think? Mia takes a step back, having just finished your toes. I'll take a look at them for a minute. A bright, slightly sparkly red. I feel very pretty. Thank you, Mia. It's been a while since I've had my nails painted. Yeah, you're welcome. That was fun. I haven't done it in a while. That was fun. I've never had red before. I like it. Oh, get used to that color, sweetheart. <laughs> yes, I've noticed. <laughs> it's a pretty color. It can be. Always liked the color red. The uh, back door slides open. Bodhi's head pops out. It's getting close. You want to grab a bite first? Mia tilts her head a bit. Looks at you. Her eyes shift over back to Bodhi. Like, you hungry? Um... Yeah, I'm hungry. She leans her head back. Look again, looking over a body. Yeah, right. We're taking the girl. Fine by me. You want to try that sushi place? Like, absolutely not. <laughs> There's a sushi place. And if you want to get food poisoning, you can try that in your own time. Yeah, it sounds like it. Mia hops up. And, uh, reaches over by her cooler to, by the cooler, to throw on the uh, black tank top. She's normally so fond of. Bodhi himself is now wearing a white t-shirt to make sure that he can get some service. You know, yes, yeah. if you don't have a shirt, you might not get service. No, no shoes. Yeah, no shirt, no shoes. You will yeah. die of lack of service. You will die of lack of service. Um, I will also throw on my clothes. That is a smart idea. Yeah. Some cargo pants and a green t-shirt sweet the three of you make your way out of the cabin and uh, take a short walk over to Hop's Diner where the three of you have a decent dinner before the pair goes on patrol and you return to the cabin for the evening And that'll do it for now. 
Make sure to tune in in two weeks for the next chapter of Wherever Gaia Takes Us, and next week for the regular episode of Rage Across the Internet. If you like what we do, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody, and you can always jump onto our Ko-Fi to uh, give us a little support that, oh, trust me, we desperately need. You can find that at uh, ko-fi slash Rage Across the Internet, and you can find us here the same place you found us last week. So be sure to tune in and have some fun with us. You take it easy.